Wednesday, November 1st, 2017. Welcome to this 150th edition of Shannon Today. We have some special things planned for this show, so stay tuned. As a matter of fact, let's get started now with a few fun facts about the number 150. 150 years ago, that was the year 1867, Laura Ingalls Wilder wrote the Little House series. One of the books was Little House on the Prairie, and one of the books was Little House in the Big Woods. I'm reading those books right now. The 150th day of 2017 was May 30th. Hey, that's my birthday! 150 inches is equal to 12.5 feet. That's from this line all the way to this line. There are about 150 calories and 9 teaspoons of sugar. That was cool. Are we going to have 150 fun facts about the number 150? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Now, here's your news from around the school. Arithmetic Clusters Day will be this Friday, November 3rd. Our teachers have planned some great classes for us. I'm doing Minute to Win It. I'm doing Video Star. I can't wait. On November 7th, Shannon will be participating in the Battle of Books in Newberry. Students have been working for quite some time to prepare. We have 11 fourth graders and fifth graders involved in that event. We wish them the best. Our Veterans Day program is next Wednesday, November 8th, during our regular chapel time. Be sure to invite any friends and family members who have served in our military to attend. We're looking forward to celebrating our servicemen and women. It's not too late to bring pictures of service members in your family for us to display in the hallway near the lunchroom. Looking ahead. Thanksgiving break will be November 22nd through November 24th. For more information about these and other Shannon events and activities, visit shannonforce.com. Now here's Peyton Thompson with our birthdays. And Ella Grace Blue with our weather on Wednesday. Today we will announce the birthdays for the next couple of weeks. Fourth grader Benjamin Folk has a birthday tomorrow. Fourth grader Maya Ferris and second grader Max Marler both have a birthday Saturday, November 4th. K-5 friend Juliana Bailey will celebrate her birthday Wednesday, November 8th. KT friend Nolan Bickline turns a year older Friday, November 10th. Fifth grader Chaz Lopez has a birthday Sunday, November 12th. Fourth grader Adrian McMeckin and second grader Abe Wallace will both celebrate their birthdays Tuesday, November 14th. Happy birthday! We've had some gorgeous weather this week. Today and tomorrow we'll see partly cloudy skies and highs in the low 70s. The lows will be in the mid 50s. Friday will be a little bit warmer with highs in the upper 70s. The weekend looks great with highs again in the low 70s. It looks like a whole week of 70s. Not much rain in sight, so get out and play as much as you can. That's your weather on Wednesday. I'm Ella Grace Blue. Now back to you. Thanks, Peyton and Ella Grace. Now it is time for a few more things you might not know about the number 150. The Roman numeral for 150 is CL. There are 150 psalms in the Bible. Psalm 150 says, Praise the Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty heavens. Praise Him for His acts of power. Praise Him for surpassing greatness. Praise Him with the sounding of the trumpet. Praise Him with the harp and lyre. Praise Him with the tambourine and dancing. Praise Him with the strings and the flute. Praise Him with the clash of cymbals. Praise Him with the resounding cymbals. With everything that has breath, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you had one dollar 150 years ago, it would be the same as having $15.80 today. 150 seconds equals two and a half minutes. We all really love a great joke. 
Let's go to Cole Rogers and Kaya Thompson to hear the joke of the week. Hey Cole, wanna hear a funny joke? Yeah, sure, what is it? How much is a skunk worth? I don't know, how much is a skunk worth? One cent. <laughs> Was that Miss Spurgeon and Miss Thompson telling a joke too? Shannon's winter sports season will start up soon. A few of our teams will open their basketball season home on Friday, November 10th. We encourage you to check out all of our games and other sports events at shannonforce.com. Go Crusaders! Now it's time to hear the results of our survey question from last week. I remember that question. It makes me hungry to think about that. Here's Seth Lyman to let us know what, what you think, think about that. Last week, we asked your opinion about the following question. What is your favorite thing to eat for breakfast? A big bowl of your favorite cereal, delicious eggs, bacon and toast, or Pop-Tarts? We had a huge response. Once again, here are the results. For the K-4 through the 5th grade students, delicious eggs, bacon, and toast took the top spot with 57% of the votes. A big bowl of your favorite cereal and Pop-Tarts tied with 21% of the votes each. We were really glad to hear that you eat breakfast. It's a great way to start your day. For the teachers, delicious eggs, bacon, and toast got 100% of the votes. We'll have another survey question next time. Thank you for letting us know what you thought about that. Please join us for 150 seconds of the matter wrap. Solids, liquids, gas. This is the
your students will take away from your Spanish classes this year? Well, thank you for asking all that. Um, I really don't expect my kids to be fluent in Spanish because that's super hard and it takes many years to do. But what I want them to do is to communicate with other people who don't speak English in the basic level. Um, I also want them to appreciate other cultures. Um, we speak a lot about Hispanic cultures in this class because that's what we're learning, we're learning Spanish. But we also talk about other cultures and we have a lot of kids from different parts of the world in our school, so I want my kids to appreciate um, different cultures and how other people think and how they express themselves. Good job! So let us say it in Spanish. I say it first and then you repeat it. Grande. Grande. Pequeño. Pequeño. Good. You ready to go to the next page? Uh -huh. yeah. Adentro. Adentro. Afuera. Afuera. Good show. We're learning a lot of new words today, aren't we? Okay. All right. So how do I say boy in Spanish? Listen first. Niño. Niño. And here is, listen, niña. Niña. What do you enjoy the most about teaching Spanish um, yeah. at Shannon? I actually enjoy a lot of things, but one of the things that I enjoy the most, because I teach all the grades in elementary school, I teach from KT all the way to fifth grade, so I get to see the kids every year, how they go through the years and how they um, mature in their behavior and how they learn Spanish year from year. You know, Spanish and all foreign languages, it's just like math. Um, you know, in math you cannot divide without adding and subtracting. And a foreign language is the same way. You have to build little by little. And so I see that through the years, kids learn what, kids remember what they learned in previous years and they build on that previous knowledge. And that's very exciting to see. Um, in my classes, I always try to integrate different ways of teaching. We do a lot of songs. Um, we do crafts to make it a little more fun. We do dancing. So um, I try to make the class a little fun for you guys. Now jump into tierra. Ooh. Good. Ooh. Everybody jumps in tierra. Yeah. In tierra. Yeah. 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 Tierra, mar, tierra, mar, tierra, mar. Are you ready? Yeah. Tierra, mar, tierra, mar, tierra, mar, tierra, mar. Thank you for spending time with us. But thank you for asking me those also questions, Nora. I'm Nolan Cook. Now back to you. I love Spanish. Boy, it's frío in here. Gracias, Mrs. Alexander, for making your Spanish classes so much fun. Now, here are a few more fun facts about the number 150. Three famous people born 150 years ago are Wilbur Wright, known for his knowledge of aviation, Marie Curie, a physicist, and Frank Lloyd Wright, an architect. He built this house. It's called Fallen Water, and it was built over a waterfall. The United States bought Alaska from Russia 150 years ago for $7.2 million. That was about two cents an acre. Alaska didn't become a state in the United States until January of 1959. Sesquicentennial is the word for the 150th anniversary of something. Those are some pretty interesting facts. Now it's time for Shannon's Awesome Eight! Here's Riley Brandenburg with that report. This week's Awesome Eight students and teachers are K5 friend Carter McDowell, KT friend Ada Kane, third grader Gavin Craig, fifth grader Anna McConnell, fourth grade teacher Mrs. Souls, first grader Layla Glenn, third grader Kelly Timmons, and first grader Amelia Carroll. Remember to see your teacher for one of these really awesome pencils. Congratulations.
Thanks, Riley. That's our show for today. Shannon Today started in October of 2012. We've had almost 14,000 views so far, thanks to you. Thank you for watching us each week. We appreciate your support, and we're looking forward to the next 150 shows. Well, that's a few years away, though. You're right. Now let's get a little update on our Toys for Tots toy drive before we head out. Here's my Sayers with that report. Can you believe all these toys we have? We're almost to our goal of 150. All these toys are going to Toys for Tots. There's still time to bring something in. You have until November 7th. Thank you for your help. We're so close. Remember to bring in those toys. Thank you for helping us work towards our goal of 150 toys and celebration of our 150th episode of Shannon Today. Remember to always try your best and do everything in a way that brings glory and honor to God. We're taking the next week off to prepare for our Veterans Day program, but we'll see you again in a couple weeks. Thank you for watching. Bye! 50 nifty united. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's 150. 150. 100. Wait, there aren't 150 United States? Silly Miss Spurgeon, it's 150 episodes of Shannon Today. Oh, 150, we could totally binge watch that. Yes, or we could sing a song. Ready? Okay, here we go. 150, 50 Shannon Todays, it's the best show on the internet. Congratulations! Well done! We love you. You guys Every so show is so amazing. Proud. Hey guys, congratulations on your 150th episode. I loved getting to be on the show when I was in elementary school, and I loved getting to watch my friends watch the show. Um, it really helped shape me as a person, and I'm so glad that you guys get to experience that too. Hey guys, 150 episodes of Shannon today. Now that's a lot of school news. Thanks to all the Ignite students through the past few years who have been the reporters and the anchors and in on all the behind the scenes planning. You've done a great job and I'm so proud of you all. Congratulations. Hey Mrs. Spurgeon. Hey. Did you know that this is the 150th episode of Shan's Day? <gasps> Let's see if we can come up with 150 things we love about the oh, Shan's Day show. This will be easy. Okay, 150 things we love about the Shan's Day show. Get ready, sit tight. All right, number one, teacher's edition of Shan's Day. I personally like the weather report that we get every week on Shannon Today. Mm. I love that I've got to anchor on the teacher's edition of Shannon's Day just a couple of times. I like that word of the week thing because then in my loquaciousness I could use some tremendous words to impress people. Loquacious. All right, so mm -hmm. 56, and the reason number 56 why I love Shannon Today. Hmm. Oh, the sports reports. I love those reporters, the microphones, all the sports. We have 57. It's the birthdays. So I like to wish happy birthday. Um, happy birthday, guys. Happy birthday. 58, I like awesome eights because they get the cool pencils and the kids get to 59, fun. oh the surveys, I like to know what everybody likes. Oh yeah, me too. Number 107, I like teacher features. Celebration! Woo! -hoo! Okay, um, reason number 108 would probably be the news from around the school. Helps me stay very organized, you know how I like that. Mm -hmm. 109 is when classes do exercise. Woo! -hoo! All right, reason number 110 would have to be those ambassador interviews we did a little while back. I love seeing those old students who are now ambassadors and you know, show it about our school. Yes. Reason number 148, what I love, Shannon today, is picture ponder. And 149, well, I've always wanted to put my finger in his mouth. It is hot. <laughs> Uncle Jack and Uncle Jack's devotions in the rocking chair are totally my fave. Yes. And reason number 150 why we love Shannon today is Mrs. Sellers. She's the best teacher ever. We, we love, love her. her. She, she works really so hard to produce this show, and we are so appreciative. Thanks for the work. <laughs>